This weekend looks like a nice one for the beach, but with so much uncertainty about red tide, is it just better to stay away? And what about if you live there? CBS 4's Ty Russell is live on South Beach with answers from a doctor. Ty. Well, Ruta Bay, it may be hard to do here in South Beach, but one doctor is telling us that people should stay off of the beach, especially off of the sand right near the water. And as for some of the folks living in some of the buildings near the beaches, well, they should keep their windows closed at least until we know for sure it is safe and red tide is out of the area. The impact of red tide is floating too close to home for Miami Beach resident Nita Ortiz. The risk of breathing the toxins in the air from the algae bloom can cause a runny nose, scratchy throat, and even watery eyes. With all that's been said about the red tide, I'm just going to take my daughter off to South Point, the little water park that they have there. 13 miles away from Ortiz, Miami Beach Mayor Carlos Jimenez ordered Hollover Inlet and beaches to the north closed as a precaution Thursday. They'll reopen Friday morning. But the threat in the air from red tide may still be felt for some. It's not life threatening, uh, except if you are a patient that has chronic respiratory problems. Dr. Jose Vasquez with Baptist Health Primary Care says people with asthma or heavy smokers may be impacted the most and may need to wear a mask on or near the beach. If you're close to the beach, you are going to get exposed to it. Uh, you have to be careful, close the windows, don't go, don't go to the beach, particularly to the sand. The higher the concentration in the water, the worse it can be. Swimmers can get rashes that could last for days. And some could get really sick if the toxic water is swallowed, like food poisoning symptoms or even numbness. And it could cause some neurological problems where you have a little bit of numbing and tingling of your fingers. As for Miami Beach resident Kelly Hatzel. I'm feeling okay now. Yeah. <laughs> she too has her fingers crossed. It stays that way. And Dr. Vasquez says if you have any of those symptoms, leave the beach immediately. And if they continue, call the doctor. Live in Miami Beach, I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight. Thank you, Ty. And again, we are expecting new test results tomorrow on the potential presence of red tide in Broward County. Stay with CBS 4 News and our social media platforms for continuing coverage of this health alert. We'll bring you those results on air and online as soon as we get them.